What's up, everyone? Welcome back to China Connect. In today's episode, we're going to dive deep into the extensive plans that Guangdong has for transforming itself into a manufacturing powerhouse and how this is poised to revolutionize the game in the region. So, get ready, grab a cup of coffee, and let's explore this exciting development. Recently, 22 measures for the manufacturing industry was unveiled. This wide-ranging and ambitious plan envisions five major enhancement actions that are targeted at fostering more than 10 strategic industrial clusters, each boasting an output value of over 100 billion yuan. To put it in perspective, that's a truly impressive scale, moreover, the plan seeks to strengthen cooperation with Hong Kong and Macau by establishing the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area Industrial Development Regular Docking and Cooperation Mechanism. This collaborative approach will propel innovation in several key areas, such as integrated circuits, artificial intelligence, high-end equipment manufacturing, the industrial internet, and biopharmaceuticals, among others. Now, you might be wondering, why is this a game-changer? Well, Guangdong's manufacturing industry is not only a significant source of income for the province, but also a crucial driver for high-quality development. In the previous year alone, Guangdong's manufacturing output value exceeded a staggering 16 trillion yuan. That accounts for over one-eighth of the country's total, with the 22 measures for the manufacturing industry, Guangdong aims to hasten the construction of a manufacturing powerhouse by implementing five major enhancement actions. These address major industrial pillars, major platform upgrades, major project expansions, nurturing efficiency enhancements for major companies, and ecological optimization actions for the major environment. By 2027, Guangdong plans to increase its annual industrial investment by more than 100 billion yuan and cultivate over 10 strategic industrial clusters with output values exceeding 100 billion yuan. They also aspire to have more than 10 manufacturing companies enter the prestigious Global 500 by then. By 2035, Guangdong's modern industrial system will be essentially established, and the manufacturing powerhouse will be fully realized. Now, let's delve into the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area collaboration. The 22 measures for the manufacturing industry aims to deepen cooperation model innovation with Hong Kong and Macau. Establishing a comprehensive, full chain industrial innovation cooperation model. This will encompass everything from basic research and talent training to technology research and development and the transformation of achievements. This cooperation mechanism will not only involve government departments and officials, but will also include key cooperation platforms spanning various industries and different sectors. This is fantastic news for cross-border cooperative teams, as it will provide them with more support, resources, and opportunities to thrive and excel. Another intriguing aspect of this plan is how it addresses the unbalanced regional development in Guangdong. With both economically developed and underdeveloped areas within the province, Guangdong is looking to optimize and improve the longitudinal collaborative industrial development layout. This will bolster synergies between the Pearl River Delta, Hong Kong, Macau, Eastern Guangdong, Western Guangdong, Northern Guangdong, and the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. Specifically, the plan emphasizes benchmarking world class planning for the high end development of industries in the Pearl River Delta region, promoting the in depth integration of high end electronic information manufacturing and advanced equipment manufacturing. This will enhance the supporting and leading role and radiation drive of the core area. Moreover, the plan aims to support Eastern Guangdong, Western Guangdong, and Northern Guangdong in strengthening their industrial chain supply chain synergy and cooperation with the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. This will form close connections and mutual support for the division of labor, accelerating the development of coastal industrial belts and Northern Green Low Carbon Development Zones. For example, Zhangjiang will become the main battlefield for upgrading traditional industries in western Guangdong, and Shantou will become a highland for the development of emerging industries in eastern Guangdong. Northern Guangdong will focus on green and low-carbon development, promoting the agglomeration and development of industries such as electronic information. 
advanced materials, biopharmaceuticals, big data, advanced equipment, and more, now, you might be curious about how all of this will be financed. Well, the provincial finance will focus on supporting the orderly transfer of industries, funding infrastructure construction in industrial parks through capital injection, financing incentives, standard plant construction incentives, assessment incentives, and more. The Guangdong Eastern Guangdong Western Guangdong North Industrial Transfer Fund will also be established to promote the introduction and construction of industrial projects. In conclusion, Guangdong is making significant strides to become a manufacturing powerhouse, and it's going to be a game-changer not only for the region but also for Hong Kong and Macau. The impact of these ambitious plans cannot be overstated, they have the potential to bring about transformative changes in the region's economic landscape, foster innovation, and create numerous opportunities for cooperation and growth. This initiative also serves as a testament to Guangdong's commitment to addressing regional disparities and ensuring that all areas within the province benefit from its economic progress. It is exciting to imagine the ripple effect that the successful implementation of these plans will have on local communities, businesses, and the overall quality of life. One of the many factors that will contribute to the success of this initiative is the involvement of key stakeholders from different sectors and regions. By fostering a spirit of collaboration and pooling resources, expertise, and ideas, the plan has the potential to create a powerful synergy that can propel the region towards its goal of becoming a global manufacturing powerhouse. As the plan unfolds, we can expect to see significant investments in research, development, and innovation, which will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the region's competitiveness on the global stage. This will not only attract more investment but also create opportunities for local businesses and workforce to upskill, adapt and grow in the rapidly changing world of manufacturing, looking beyond the immediate economic benefits, this initiative will also likely contribute to the overall well-being of the region in terms of environmental sustainability and social equity. By promoting green and low-carbon development, as well as creating opportunities for traditionally underdeveloped areas, this plan demonstrates a commitment to inclusive growth that benefits all. So, there you have it, folks. Guangdong is making big moves to become a manufacturing powerhouse, and it's going to be a game-changer for the region, as well as for Hong Kong and Macau. We can't wait to see the progress and development that will come from these ambitious plans. Thanks for exploring China with us. Smash that like button, comment, and share. Subscribe for more and drop your questions or ideas below. Together, let's showcase this amazing nation. Catch you in the next video.